All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk you through how you can do a high-end luxury flip. My good buddy, Jason Abrams, has done. All of these houses are changing in the market because he has become a market maker and single-handedly has transformed this whole community. And we got his son, Ari, here with us right now. Say hi, Ari. Hi. Should they subscribe? Yes. Do we bring good content? Yep. What do we teach people how to do? Make money and be rich. That's right, how to make money and be rich. He's got his son on every job, why? Because he's trying to teach him a skill set that he knows is gonna help him. So we're gonna go check this house out. This is a mid-phase remodel of a high-end luxury flip. They're pretty busy right now, as you know. It's been taking them a year or two or a couple months. A year or two or a couple months, could be one of those. Here's my famous dad, Jason Abrams. <laughs> this door again. 12,000, no, this one's amazing. This one, <laughs> so we got a 12,000 door. This one. Uh, we just purchased off the MLS. Uh, my wife and I actually thought we were going to move in here. We decided that our house was a better fit for our family. Right. And so we decided to sell this one. And what was the purchase price on this? 2.2 uh, .2 million. 2.2 .2, How many square feet? 6,200 square foot, one story on the golf course. He's telling you because those are all good things. One story matters, why? Just your buyer pool is bigger, I think, and it opens you up to people that are getting a little bit older in age, especially in a golf course community. You want to attract the most buyers possible. And I think a lot of people are just plain sick and tired of up and down stairs. A, a one story house is just a way easier way to live. From a real estate standpoint, when you're comping out properties, a one story is always, always, always worth more unless you you got a view. So you said it's on the golf course. Let's walk through the house. Where you at on everything right now? So obviously this is the, the big dramatic entry. We changed around the, the, fi the fireplace area and we're kind of updating its look to be much more contemporary. In this house, we did keep the silver travertine floors. So this was here originally? Yeah. This I love it. It's really beautiful. It's $30 a square foot if I were to buy it today. You've hair and bone this wood plank tile in here. Large, not easy to do. So we created this drop down right here with the light coat in it right up there creating a, a a wiring chase his knowledge has gotten so much better dude a wiring chase you're talking so, you're so talking like you're talking like a gc he's right not a gc I'm, a, I'm not and he's we, not a gc i just found out yesterday thanks to my framing guy over there that i'm able to get rid of this column this is a non-structural column and you want it gone i'm getting rid of this entire thing right here and that i paid to have a slab of silver travertine cut into this exact size was a fortune. Um, well, what, what did it cost? Well, I had to buy the slab first for well, 3,200 bucks. 3,200. And then I had to pay a fabricator $35 a square foot to cut it into 18 by 18 squares or 20 by 20 squares because they don't make this size. Is this a $5 million house or a $6 million house? Down here, I think I'm still probably gonna be in the four or five range, 4.5 range. Where are we at right here? This is a bar. You got a nice stone on here. Is this the same stone they're using in other places or is this a little bit unique? We like to use limestones primarily. There's just a kind of earthy feel to it. Fourth bedroom here. This is cool. Lots of cool patterns, lots of cool limestone. Excellent design. This hallway came down to here before. Right. So now we framed it all the way up. The only change that we're really gonna make is that this kitchen, well, first didn't look like this, but the pantry was in the same place. There was this dead area right here where there was just plants. This whole thing is being framed in. So this will be a 10 foot deep, five foot wide pantry. Now this will be a 50, a 50 square foot pantry, 10 feet tall. And in this one, we have refrigerator, 24 inch uh, wine cooler and freezer. So we have 84 inches of refrigeration. And like these cabinets are on, are on the blum hinges right here. Nice. And like these drawers are pushed to open. This is all marble. We've changed this whole fireplace area around. Cool. What about the flooring? What's going, carpet? Yeah, carpet in here. Those are not, those are going in the trash. Yeah. Those are, oh! If you guys want to buy these from Jason before he, he throws these away. Someone can have them for free, just come get them. Wow, out here, what's going on outside? What we're gonna do is we're probably gonna strip this color off of it. Right. And we're gonna uh, stain it all new colors. We'll have all new drains put in this barbecue will replace with a new barbecue and we'll refinish this entire island new countertops yeah we already have a landscape plan we're primarily just going to take some stuff away that's inhibiting the view but other than that it's in such great shape that we are going to primarily leave alone the pool is getting chipped out starting so you're chipping that whole pool out yeah we're chipping the whole pool out in uh two weeks all new tile all new plaster just the labor and the plaster is uh at twelve thousand nine hundred. are you keeping this uh koi pond Oh. We are. Look. They're so beautiful. 
They are so beautiful. Right now, I'm already into this pond about five grand in just getting it cleaned out. The most valuable koi is that black one right there, the solid black one. If you think these fish are cute, like and subscribe. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see the magic. There we go. The first guy made the move. Now another guy feels safe. We're all like fish. We're waiting for somebody else to make the first move, right? Don't be like a fish. Make the first move yourself. Invest in real estate. Thank you for coming. I really miss you. I miss you too, buddy. And you are so such a genuine, loving kid. Do, are you always that way? Have you do you ever cry or, or like cause your dad a hard time? Uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is one of the biggest single pocket doors that we did. This door was $22,000. $22,000 for the Not door. Not installed. Not installed. Just off the freight truck. Yeah. Simple fix. Right. Guys, simple fix. Square off the wall. Square off the wall. Don't make it complicated. Just build out. Some guys might demo this whole damn thing and start over. Just squared off. False wall. We just thought, you know, what would it be like if the, if the wall just went straight to the ceiling? How dramatic would would this be 12 or 14 foot ceilings walking down this giant wide highway uh, hallway? It's going to be really spectacular. This is really cool to see because some guys might be thinking if they're flipping a house that they got to rip out everything. He's just thinking in solutions. We only did it this way because this floor plan was good enough as it was. Right. Right. There's only a few things that were bad about this floor plan. One was the pantry, which right. we just solved. The other one it had a really small master bathroom. Really. Did small. we solve that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Holy Christ. The bathtub used to be right here. Okay. The shower was right here. Okay. And then it had two vanities. Water closet went out to here. Like it was just a really cramped light cove up here that goes all the way down. LED light goes all the way over. Double vanity here. Giant makeup counter here. Electrical all of the walls for the lighted mirrors. Right. Who's making the decisions on buying the house? Ma oh yeah, the wife. The wife. For sure. So what he just identified here, what you guys did maybe didn't hear is that he said giant makeup counter here. Why does he care about putting a giant makeup counter? Why wouldn't he put like a, a like a golf a storage closet, right? We can live anywhere. Yeah, we guys don't, can live guys can live anywhere and the women want this house. And when she comes in and she starts touring this house and her husband says, well, she says, did you just see that right there? That might be right here, the decision that bought the house. We're doing the same thing we did in the last one right here, tub and drop down. Yeah, that's the, that's the that's a That's a winner, I'm stealing that idea. <laughs> Note to self, that idea is being stolen. This is all gonna be a slab material. Right, so you're doing the same type of granite. Yeah, that wraps all the way around here. Um, you saw we have that one glass panel in the shower. Right. And what we do, we call that a peekaboo window. And we always do that in the master only. A little sexual. Because it's a little sexy, right? For me, I always want to keep our design sexy. Like, I like to walk by and catch a quick glimpse of my wife. You know, she's beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta have like a little, a little peekaboo. Like, it, he's just keeping it sexy, I think is the biggest thing is like, and you're trying to appeal to the emotions of whoever's buying it. People buy with emotion and justify with logic. Maybe what we could do, is we could actually stage a model in here while you're doing the open That's house smart, yeah. to, to just do a shower. I think that would be a good idea. <laughs> so acquisition cost was 2.2. Yeah. What are you gonna put in construction? Well, this one is about a million too. But we didn't talk about carrying costs, right? You, do you have carrying costs in these deals? So I think my carrying costs on this property are probably around the $300,000 mark. Right, so if you're just counting the profit, you gotta count the cost. We always try to do some kind of view where it's fire, water, golf, mountains in the back. Whenever we have a view property. If somebody wants to buy this before it comes on the market, how would they do that? DM you on what? Yeah, Instagram, the Jason Abrams. The Jason Abrams on IG. Hey, thanks for checking out my crib. Now you guys gotta go. I hope you subscribed. I hope you enjoyed what we taught you there. If you're getting a lot of value, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you smash that like button and make sure that you get involved in investing in real estate. If you're looking for a coach, we've got a coaching program. If you're looking for a free Facebook group, we've got that millionaire mentorship real estate investing on Facebook. But most importantly, do yourself a favor. If you're not going to do that, take action, learn from your mistakes, get over your fears and understand that Jason's scared doing this. I'm scared doing this. Everything that we try is new and you're never gonna change unless you, were you scared when you took your first karate class? Well, no. I were you scared when you took your jujitsu class and got your butt kicked? Well, no. I Everybody's scared but Ari. You gotta not show your emotions. 
That's what my dad said. You can't show your emotions. Hey, I tell my son that all the time. Listen, here's the other thing is, be in touch with your emotions, but don't show your emotions. But if you're scared, walk through that fear, just like Ari did. Invest in real estate, go take jujitsu, and we'll check in the next one. Peace. Peace.